Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop. And welcome to issue two of Build the Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series from our wonderful friends over at Fanome. Yes, folks, what more can we say? It is the iconic, the iconic Batmobile from the very first series. So let's have a look what we got in this one month's magazine. We've got some more information there on the TV show, a bit more on the Riddler there. Uh, he was the considered to be more important Batman villain than the Joker. Yes, folks. It was later on in the sh in the uh, series that uh, the Joker came to prevalence. So yes, give these a read, folks. This was where Robin awakes in the Riddler's lair to find he is the villain's captive. Yes, folks. Not the old Riddler, eh? Then there's tragedy in the Bat Cave there. Molly tries to escape but falls into the Batmobile's nuclear power source and she suffered an untimely end. Yes, folks. Uh, what's this? Uh, this is one where Robin solves the riddle. The riddle was how many sides as a circle? And the answer was two, inside and outside. There you go. This is on about the Batman comics there. And again, he looks quite an angry chap in that one, doesn't he? And he stood there surveilling Gotham City, folks. Yes. Uh, Revelation and Redemption. Another uh, a uh, little bit of blurb there from the comics. This was Batman 40, a huge hit in Detective Comics. The Dark Knight soon received his own comic book title. Batman was launched in 1940, a milestone year in comic book publishing. Can you imagine if someone's got the first issue of that comic? I'd be sitting on a small fortune, wouldn't they? Uh, this was Batman by year. Loads of blurb. Give these a read, folks. You're not going to be disappointed. They are a good read. I tend to read all the magazines that come with the part works because I like to learn stuff. Uh, this was Batman uh, with Robin, the boy wonder, and there's the appearance of the Joker and how he's changed over the years as well, the Joker. Uh, your car parts in this phase, you assemble the first wheel as well as working on the antenna for the bat scope. Yes, not an ordinary scope. It's the bat scope. And there's a list of all the parts that you're getting with your issue of Batman. So hopefully you've got this uh, and you can build along with me, folks. Don't forget, click this link. <laughs> Head over to Fan Home and get your very own subscription, folks. You know you won't. You you know you won't be disappointed, and you know you want to. So there's a breakdown of the parts: the tire, center cap, center cap base, outer wheel, wheel center, inner wheel, antenna reflector, antenna base, antenna top, the antenna itself, and then CP and EP screws, folks guide there on the assembly how to put the wheel together two-piece wheel get that all load um loaded up and assembled there's the antenna going on so we're going to do is be doing a nice bit of assembly and this is where it's going to go on your batmobile and remember keep these parts safe folks that's what i tend to do and that's what you'll end up with at the end a completed wheel center cap and your antenna folks that's what we're after today. So I will put the instructions in the usual place at the back there. And we'll start assembling this issue of the Batmobile. Let's just grab the bits and pieces. I'll get this open. And when we'll come back, we'll start putting these bits together for you. Bear in mind, some of these parts are fragile. I mean, that looks quite delicate in there. So again, this will go back in today's packaging just to keep these things protected, folks.
Right, so there's the tyre. So I just want to make sure we got that correct orientation. So it looks like the pattern is single sided, so yeah. So it says take the tyre and insert the outer wheel uh, onto the middle of the part. Okay, so we'll just check the tread pattern just to make sure we're going the right way. Doesn't seem to be handed, which is cool. Yeah. And then we want to bring that part from the back. Feed that in like so. He says. And then we've got that part to go in. He says, put that in from the back. We then want this rim. Like so. If I remember rightly, let's have a look at Kings. Just like so. There you go. So that's what you want. It engages in. So just want to turn that and get that orientated in. And then that whole assembly in your hand feeds up from the back, like so. So that it rests just in that little rebate of the tyre. So if you press that in, like so, all the way around, put your pinky in the middle and spin the both parts up. And then this piece will then locate over, like so, just like that. And then all your screws are going to go in there. That's the theory. That's what we're after. And that's going to be your CP screws, folks. So remember, bit of oil, because we're going into metal. Nice little drop of oil. Bosh. And then we can put the first one in. Like that. And I only want to engage one of the threads so that I can then pick it up and then start the tightening sequence. Just like so. Again, I should do my normal work diagonals as best I can. Just so that I'm not ending up with a wonky wheel. Like that. And then spin it round. 12 o'clock. And then we can put the next one in. Like so. Just want to back that off a tad. Just so that I can keep the alignment trued up. Like that, that's better. I just wanted it to sink in. A little bit better than that, Colin. There you go. And then work my way around. So that I know I'm truing up the wheel as I'm going. So we can put one in there now. Next one's in. And then once we've got them started, we can then come around and tighten up the rest of them as well. Just like that. Bop. Now we can just go around and tighten them all down. One there, go diagonal, one there, come straight over to this side, do that one, and then go three o'clock and nine o'clock. There you go. And that is a wheel. Done. That's the inside. That's the outside, look at that. <laughs> and then says, push the centre cap 2B into the pinhole at the narrower end of the centre cap uh, base. So that's what it's asking us to do. So we're going to do that, like so. 
resounding click as it will finally be fitted to the wheel at a later stage in the assembly of your model. It will roughly sit somewhere like that. Oh, look at that, that wheel. Oh, that wheel. It's upside down, I know, but it's even better, isn't it? Oh, look at that. So we got that. We then got assembling the antenna. So it says, Let's begin by extending the antenna, which works with a telescopic mechanism like that. So you want to extend that all the way up. And it says, then slot this through the antenna base using two EP screws to fix the two parts together. So we want to bring that all the way through. And then we want to then screw this through this hole into here. That's what it's telling us. So let's grab our EP screws. They're quite long, these ones. So, again, the usual bit of oil, just to give them a dab. Like so. And then they go through the hole in the, in the plastic there. So I'm going to start them off in the plastic first. Just to let it start cutting its hole. And then once I'm happy that it's became beginning to protrude, I'll then put the aerial in so that it can come through and bite it. So I just want to thread that right into a little bit, just to cut. And then we can back it off and then put the antenna in. And we want to then be able to see that that is coming through and grabbing that. Straight in. Like that, and that's got that already. So then we do the same the other side now. Now we know that's not going to go anywhere. Like that. And then we can work our way through and do the same on this side now. And that's where the oil comes in for me, just bites that in place. There you go. And that is now oh, an antenna. Oh. So we're done with those. And then it is saying, push the antenna reflector 2G onto the end of the antenna and push the antenna top onto the end of the antenna. So it's now asking us to put this on. Like that. And then we're screwing this on the top of it. Now, as you can see, this is very, very thin. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you what it looks like. But then, because I'm not going to be fitting it for a while, I don't want to bend these little veins up. So I shall remove it and store this in the plastic box that it came in, just to keep these safe. But it literally just screws on the end like so. And it will retain this in place. But again, I don't want to bend it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the antenna to turn it. That's what you'll end up with. One of them. Okay. And then that'll extend up and down in the Batmobile when it's all assembled. But I don't want to damage these. So I'm going to back mine off. Just like so. And then store that, just like that. Okay, and I won't break them then. So at the end of this issue, you're going to end up with a wheel, your parts of your antenna, and your little little up gap going on in there, just like that. I don't think that's a bad start, do you? <sighs> so we're going to leave it there. I look forward to seeing you in the next issue. Don't forget, if you want to grab one of these, head over to the Fan Home site. Go on, click this link all the way along there and go and get yourself your very own Batmobile. You know you want to, folks. So until then, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next issue. Oh, no, 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 no,